Just want to let you know, we've just made this the baddest G63 in the UK, possibly in the world. Well, I'm very excited and scared to drive this car. Bloody hell. So what we're doing today is literally from here and all the way up to the catalyst. We're taking this side off and that side off. There you go, I think that's the highest the car goes. Bloody hell, the car's wobbling, you know. It's going to be pretty loud. Whoa! That is mental. That's really louder, louder, every second. Whoa! Bloody hell! What's happening people? It's your boy Nams. Welcome back to another video. Behind me is a stunning Mercedes G63 AMG in matte black. This car is in for our B750 package, which is stage two. And to do that, we'll have to replace the catalytic converters and put damp pumps onto it, and then carry out our custom tune. For those of you that don't know, this is the new shape G63 AMG, which means it's the four liter twin turbo, not the 5.5 liter as the previous generation did. Let me pop the hood and show you. Here we have the Mercedes 4 liter twin turbo power plant. It's pushing about 612 bhp. What's interesting is this exact same engine is in the E63S and also the GT63S with very similar differences, such as the pistons, crank, and a few other things. It's very, very similar though. On the outside, you wouldn't even know the difference. Today, we are taking this G63 AMG from 612 bhp to 750. How are we going to do that? First of all, we need to replace the catalyst converters with damp pipes which is going to remove any sort of restriction in the exhaust system and then we'll put our custom stage 2 tune on it that will make the car go to around 750 bhp usually on the e63s to take the pipes off the the gearbox has to get dropped down but on this car we've got a problem and i'll show you what that is if you look down there you can just about see the catalyst pipe and you can see that it goes from that side of the chassis and crosses over to the right so taking the gearbox from the middle ain't gonna help. And I'll show you what I mean once the car's on the ramp. So for this car, we're gonna have to literally put this car on the ramp now and figure out what we're gonna do to take those pipes out and replace it with the down pipes. Here's a fun fact of a G63. Check this out. Do you know that Mercedes actually made this car to sound like this when you close the door? It just sounds like a tank. Love it. Oh yeah, and that handle by the way, that's like, 40, 50 years old this handle is. They literally carried it out to a car that's what? 20, 21 plate? It's mad, amazing. And to get into it, there's no steppers or nothing, there's a little step there, but look, you literally have to stand up to it. But yeah, <laughs> let's start the engine up and let's hear it. This is the car in stock form and then I'll show you how it sounds once we transform this beast. Let's go inside. Let's pull this car into the workshop and let's get started. The turning circle of this car is not so good. I'm having to turn it so many times to go inside. Now before we get started, I want to give a big shout out to FI Exhaust for sending out these damp pipes. I've been looking for G63 damp pipes everywhere and I couldn't find it. I've only found this one and it had to be shipped internationally. So big shout out to FI Exhaust for sending this out to me. Check them out on Instagram, YouTube, their website. If you need to, if you need to get any damp pipes or tuning stuff, shout them. But yeah, let's see what's inside package content. Look, yeah, I don't know much about welding, but I can tell you that is top quality craftsmanship. Look at that. The fire exhaust, that's one. And I believe there's two on each side of this car. 
Yeah, so let's get this opened up and we get the car jacked up. There you go, that's the contents of the box stripped out. We've got four pipes here. One is gonna remove the catalyst of the car and the secondary pipes are gonna remove the OPF filter. As you know, this car's a 19 plate. So any cars above 19 have OPF filters, which I will show you when the car goes up. They're basically made to make the car a little more quieter and I think it's to do with emissions and whatnot. But yeah, let's get this car jacked up and let's get started. Very excited to get started on this. Can't wait to strip the car down and see what it takes. Never seen below a G-Wagon before. This is a new day for everything, isn't it? <laughs> this guy's always laughing, <laughs> smiling. <laughs> what are you so happy for? It's a good day, isn't it? It's a good day, yeah? He's excited as well. Look at that clearance. Roof, bar, ramp. There you go. I think that's the highest the car goes. Bloody hell. The car's wobbling, you know. Now look at that, the car's actually wobbling, but don't worry, it is secure and on the ramp. So let's have a look at the damper, is this, is this the highest the ramp goes? Let's have a look underneath. Right, so we're underneath the car now, and like I said before, on the E63S engines, usually you, get, you take the gearbox off and then you remove the damper pipes because the damper pipes usually come this way, but as you can see on this car, because from there, all the way there, and across, and actually, you know what, I can show you right now, look, here it is. That's the OPF filter, cat back, and exhaust system. So what we're doing today is literally from here, and all the way up to the catalyst. We're taking this side off, and that side off. And all together, that is four pipes that, all together, that's four pipes that's being replaced. So, we're gonna have to figure this one out. It looks a bit complicated, it's not straightforward. It's not just a gearbox off job, and even if the gearbox off wouldn't even help us right now because pipes go the wrong way. Pipes go the other way. So what we're gonna have to do is take the body of the car up and the chassis down. This is an interesting one. Never did one of these before, and I'm looking very forward to it. Let's get started. So in order for us to take the body of this car up, we got Seth here now removing these arch liners to give us access to the box and any sort of wire looms that we need to remove to do that. In case you guys don't realize what's happening right here, let me explain it to you. That there is the body of the G63 AMG. Below that, you've got the wheel, the chassis, the prop shaft, the wheel, the engine, the gearbox, all of that. All of that is gonna stay down and the car's going up. That's what's happening today. And that's a bit crazy. The last time the car did that was in the factory when it was getting built. So we're about to strip that right down. And that's the only way to do it on the G63. There is another way which is those pipes, you can just cut it off. You can just cut the catalyst off and put the new pipes in. As you can see, it's not too thick, but the owner wants to retain the catalyst, especially in the future, if he wants to put the car back to stock. So we're gonna leave it as it is and get stripping. What are you saying, Rocky? Yeah. How's, the day, how's the day going? That would be the spot, bro. It's stressful. <laughs> and you? I'm just waiting for the car to go up, man. Everyone wants to see the car go up. Everyone wants to see the car go up today. And so do I. Bit of a mad one. Interesting one, isn't it? I'm scared that this car is on the lift right now. It's a very scary moment, especially to be, especially to be underneath that thing. What a monster. So because the body's going up, the front bumper is attached to the chassis underneath. Now if it was to go up without removing the bumper, it would pretty much rip the bumper apart. So that's why we have to disconnect it as we have done. And go. Yep. We're gonna just move the other side and then we can that will then help us prepare for the removal of the chassis. You ready boys yeah? Ready. Getting that G bumper off. So we just have a little discussion about this car. How it's a military vehicle. And if it was one of the ones from 20 years ago, it would be done by now. We would have been done by now. <laughs> too much electrics, too much wires to strip up. We're almost there anyway. Almost. Not, no stress. We're getting there. So there you have it. Just like that. The G63 bumper 
is now off. Look at that. Never expected to see a G-Wagon like this in my garage. Yeah, yeah. Almost there though. So good progress on this. Hopefully in about three, four, five, six, seven hours left till the thing goes up. How long do you think it's going to take? No, even three, three hours max. No, that's, that's all right, not too bad. Right, so we've got a slight change of plan. We're not going to take the body up anymore. We're going to do it a different way because it just doesn't seem like it's worth the hassle of taking the whole car up and stripping up all the fuel lines and stuff. There's just too many things below to strip down. So what we're going to do instead to make life a lot easier is, let me show you, that's the catalyst right there. And as you know, it runs down this way. The pipe is there. What we're going to do is cut the pipe from there. So that will allow us to take the pipe upwards. And of course, this is already done. We remove that and that will allow us to put the pipe through. So that's the way we're going to do it. That's the two turbochargers there, right in the center of the engine. And here's the catalyst. And that's the reason why we couldn't just pull it out. It just couldn't, it just wouldn't go through, especially because the pipe goes that way, then crosses that way, and then that way. It just, it just wouldn't work. And uh, some of you are probably thinking, why not just pull the pipe upwards? Because there's an OPF filter down there, which is just as big as that. And that's the reason why it wouldn't come upwards or downwards. So we're just gonna cut in the middle, and make life easier for us. exhaust now fitted up look at the setup this is now made up to the rear silencer and up to the side so basically from the engine the only silencer that this car has is this one here so it's gonna be pretty loud look at that masterpiece so after installing the damp pipes on this G63 obviously the heat shield here so you can't see but from the turbo this is the engine turbo Damp pipes. There used to be two catalysts here, they've now been removed. The catalyst top down through the chassis and out to the back boxes. Anyway, I'm going to pull this ECU out. It needs a tune done on the bench, and I need to remove the ECU from the car to do that. So, let me start, let me get cracking on that. Right, I have now taken a stock file read of that car. So basically, the stock information for the ECU onto my software. I'm now gonna tune that. This is what you call custom tuning. I'm gonna let the ECU know that the catalysts are now missing and also up the boost. That will allow us to unleash the power to about 750 horses. Now, how custom tuning works is, once you put the tune file back to the ECU, you go for a test drive, you do the logs using the laptop and the software, make sure everything's working perfectly fine, and then you fine tune it to get the optimum results. At the end of this, we're gonna have a very fast G63 AMG running 750 horses and around 1,000 newton meters of torque. Not to mention, very loud pops and bangs on the exhaust, which I'm gonna show you at the end of the video. So stay tuned. Right, we now have the base file in the G63 AMG. Let's do up the first start. Let's see how she sounds. Definitely excited for this one. Oh. Ready? So let's put the car in sports mode. And let's see how she sounds. Whoa! Sounds mad. That is way better. By the way, I haven't even dialed in the pops and bangs yet. That sounds nuts, man. Yo, that is mad. That's mad. Animals, animals. I didn't drink about right, 25 that's mad. Let's go hit the road. Let's see how this car drives. That is basically a base stage two tune. I haven't even, I haven't even tuned it properly yet. Now I'm going to take a look at the car on the road, and then I'm going to fine tune it after to make it perfect. But I'm very excited and scared to drive this car. Bloody hell. 
Right, so we're now gonna go on a data logging session with the car. This will tell us exactly how the car is running, all the temperatures, everything like that. Oh my god. Alright, belt on. Safety first. You get your belt on? Yeah, of course I have. Before the subscribers start complaining. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> Bloody hell, that sounds mad! Yeah, he's gonna love this, you know. Yeah, Once he gets his car back, he's gonna love this. He also yeah. two things, yeah? Because I want my car to be loud and fast. That's what we're doing right now. And that's what he's got. <laughs> exactly what he's gonna get. Oh, that bang was loud. Unfortunately, it got dark now, so I can't really show the car driving outside, but at least we'll continue with our tuning for now for today. Um, we're currently doing some logs to show the screen. As you can see on the screen, torque, lambda, temperatures and all this stuff. These things are very important when it comes to tuning. Now that's the difference with a custom tune and a generic one where we actually monitor the car and make sure everything is correct and we fine tune it accordingly to get the best optimum performance out of the vehicle. buy a G-Wagon now. <laughs> Falling in love with them, I'm telling you. In the beginning when I drove this car, it was a little quiet, it wasn't loud enough, but now it's sounding so beefy, I love it. So as I was saying before, this car sounds a lot more aggressive than my E63S and I'll show you why. So there's the engines there, the damper we fit into, it literally goes there and stuff there. And you can see it's the OPF filter which we removed as well. Now that's the back box on both sides. So pretty much the engine to there is very short. It's a bit like a V10. You know the supercars, the engines at the back. So the exhaust is very short, which makes them sound a lot louder compared to cars who have exhaust from engine right to the back, going through resonators and back boxes and whatnot. Time to fill up this beast. If you think this car was thirsty, it's about to get a lot more thirsty now. V power only. Petrol finish, the G63 to cool the petrol. Great error code, diagnostics. <laughs> Get the machine Get the OBD reader. <laughs> 100 pound on a G-Wagon, just about half tank. And also, that's probably gonna last about 20 minutes, realistically. <laughs> Bloody hell, it's crazy. Oof. So I just completed a data logging session the data to take back and work back on the unit. It's now Friday 6 p.m. We're about to close so I'll be back on Monday to complete the video. Would have liked to do it today but at this time Friday with all the cars on the road it just doesn't make sense. So so yeah guys we'll finalize on Monday and yeah uh, you'll see you see the end results of this stage two beast. What's happening people? Today's Monday and we are back at data logging their G63 AMG. I'm gonna finalize the tune today. So what the process is basically putting a base file onto the ECU on a stage two, logging the car on the road, making sure everything's looking spot on and from there fine tuning it, getting the figures right exactly where it should be. Before any of that, just want to let you know we've just made this the baddest G63 in the UK, possibly in the world, but let me show you. Bloody hell, man. <laughs> Yo, it's crazy, man. By the way, that's just on a base stage two file. I've got a lot more fine tuning to do. 
If you notice in the camera, I don't know if the camera's catching it, but the crackle and pop sounds insane. I won't be surprised if the car's flaming from the back, you know. That's what it sounds like. Yo. Whoa! Oh. Bloody hell! That is proper, proper aggressive, man. So what I've done on the tune is enhance the crackle and pops from the factory. So as you can see, when I let off and downshift, there's a lot more crackle and pops. Oh, this car's just insane, man. It just lifts up like this and just goes. Yeah, talk. I mean, this car at the moment should be roughly around 750 brake and about a thousand newton meters of torque. It's absolutely mental to have that in a Jeep car like this. Loud bang, man. You know, the, the handling on this car is surprisingly good as well. Oh, that is a racket, man. Oh, oh, we got a tunnel ahead. Let's hear it. Let's get some red. So ever since I put the V power and it's been banging way louder so it's definitely you want it, 99. then again I've tuned the car to run V power as well which is 99 99 fuel it's the only fuel you should be using on this kind of car anyway oh you hear that <laughs> it's like a thunderstorm that's great Do you think it's the baddest G63 in the UK? Oh, it's gotta be. I've never seen a G63 in this country tuned up. Most of them, well not most of them, all of them are stock. I've seen them. I mean, a few of them have, a, you know, kits here and there, like body kits, wheels and stuff. I've not seen any with the downpipes and stage two. I think gonna love this man, the car's been totally, completely, completely transformed. So I've just done a few data logs of the car on the road. I'm now gonna do a few fine tunes on it. Very happy with the results so far. It's all about making it perfect. That's, and that's what you call custom tuning. None of that copy and paste business. This is straight data login, check the car, come back, go back and forth till you get the car perfect. That's how we like doing it. So what else can you do to this car? To be fair, the possibilities are endless. You can go stage three turbos, bigger turbos. If you really want to and go all out, the engine can be pulled out, a full forged build. So forged piston, forged rods, you can go to about 1200 brake. You can go more than that. There's a lot of things you can do to it. Um, if you just put it down here, I just want to show what the log screen looks like when I'm logging the car. You can, as you can see, you can see the RPM, the boost pressure, engine torque, wastegate duty, intake air temperature. All of this stuff is very, very important. And obviously when I'm logging the car, I'm looking at for too much heat and all this stuff over boosting if the boost is too much too less whatever it is we fine tune it and get the results to be perfect this is the aftermath of an intense data logging session look at that this car is a good car wash man now look at this animal it looks like a beast and it's been completely transformed now ready to hit the roads so there you have it, that's a wrap. That is the G63 AMG two, tuned to stage two, the baddest one in the UK. Finally tuned by Booth Performance and ready to go. Gonna get the car, car wash now and it'll be done. Like this video, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.